James, director of the Lewis Center for Church Leadership of Wesley Theological Seminary in Washington, D.C. For the past 10 years, the Lewis Center, in partnership with the General Board of Pension and Health Benefits, has reported annually on the changing age trends among United Methodist clergy in the United States. This research examines elders, deacons, and local pastors. Elders are ordained to a ministry of word, sacrament, order, and service. They itinerate and receive an appointment annually by the bishop. Deacons are ordained to a ministry of word and service to both the community and a congregation. Deacons are not required to itinerate nor guaranteed an appointment. A local pastor is licensed and appointed to perform the duties of a pastor in a particular setting. They are not required to itinerate nor guaranteed an appointment. We look first at the number of clergy. The number of active elders continues to decline. The number of local pastors has grown in the same period. In 1990, there were over five elders for each local pastor. Today, there are two elders for each local pastor. The number of deacons has grown since 2005. Note that there is less historical data for deacons and also that many deacons have pension plans outside the church plan and so are not reflected in these figures. Not only are the numbers of clergy changing, so is the age makeup. Traditionally, most elders have been between 35 and 54 years of age. In 1990, 59% of elders fell in this age group. The percentage was even higher in earlier years. In 2014, mid-age elders dropped below 40%. Elders 55 to 72 made up 30% of elders in 1990, higher than in previous years. In 2014, older elders continued a 30-year trend of representing an increasing proportion of active elders, reaching a record 55%. And elders under 35 comprised 11% in 1990, significantly down from their presence in the 1970s and 80s. In 2014, young elders make up 6% of elders, a decrease from earlier years, but an increase from their low point in 2005 when they were less than 5% of elders. The age trends for deacons are similar to those of elders. The mid-age group has decreased as the percent over 55 increased, and the percent under 35 increased, though at a higher percentage than elders. Local pastors have typically entered ministry at an older age. That appears to be changing somewhat. While local pastors follow age patterns similar to elders and deacons, with mid-sized local pastors decreasing and older local pastors increasing, the presence of young local pastors has doubled during this period. We have seen that the presence of young clergy is low, so we turn now to look more closely at this age group. This chart shows the changes in the numbers of young clergy in recent years, beginning with 2005. The number of young elders reached a low point in 2005 and has increased by almost 100 since then. The number of young local pastors and deacons, while much lower than elders, has increased at a higher rate than elders since 2005. There are also gender differences among the young clergy cohorts. The percentage of young women elders has grown steadily and is now 39%. Among young deacons, 79% are women, while the gender makeup of local pastors 
is almost exactly opposite with 77% being men. For many years, the highest concentrations of young clergy have been in the southeastern and south central jurisdictions. That trend continues, but the north central jurisdiction made the greatest gains in young clergy in this past year. These are the 10 annual conferences with the highest percentages of young elders. The conference with the highest percentage of young elders is Texas with over 10%. The conference with the largest number of young elders is Virginia with 56. Two conferences have been in the top 10 every year since 2005, Mississippi and Holston. East Ohio entered the top 10 for the first time in 2014. To read or download the full report, which includes figures for every annual conference, go to the Lewis Center website, churchleadership.com. To keep up with future research and resources from the Lewis Center, you may subscribe to the Center's free online newsletter, Leading Ideas, while at the site.